Okay, folks, what we're going to do this morning, I'm going to make an electrical whip. You have ton and a half through five ton condensing units, heat pumps. A lot of times we have to make a whip for our unit. The first thing you need to do is always go to your unit, look at your label, and decide what size whip do I need for my condenser because a lot of times the existing whips aren't big enough. I want to point out one thing real quick for you. I have three different wire sizes here. I want you to really look at the diameter of the wires. Okay, this is a number six copper. This is a number eight copper. This is a number 10 copper. You might ask yourself, what size breaker goes with what size wire? A number six copper goes with a 60 amp breaker. A number eight copper goes with the 40 amp breaker. And a number 10 copper goes with a 30 amp breaker. You might ask yourself also, what size wire do I have? You always can find any information that you need on the wire itself, okay? And we just did a video earlier that you guys can look at. It's called, what size is my wire? But always look, the wire size is written on the wire itself, okay? So now what I'm going to do this morning, I'm going to go ahead and make an electrical whip for a 40 amp circuit. I'm going to make a 6 foot whip. So what I'm going to do here, first thing I'm going to do is grab my seal type flex. This is uh, what we call liquid seal type flex. It's designed for outdoor use. It's sunlight resistance. It's a three quarter inch diameter. Okay, because most AC units have three quarter inch knockouts designed to go up to any size wire that you need up to 60 amp. So I'm going to grab a measuring tape here. You don't have to be a precise science. I'm just going to show you how I normally do it in the field okay six foot right here you want to take your PVC cutters okay another thing you want to keep in mind uh, this is all stranded wire I usually use stranded wire to do my whips Okay, so what you want to do, take your seal type whip, you always have to make up the breaker or the disconnect on each end, so you always want to come out about, we're going to say 8 to 10 inches out, past the whip, and you're just going to take your hand, you're going to run the wire along the whip, seal type flex, okay, I'm going to come out about right here, grab my side cutters, Cut it. Now I'm just going to take and just kind of follow along, make sure I get the same size. Now here is my 220 part of my electrical whip. Now we have two hots because remember. We're doing a 40 amp circuit, so these wires will go into the breakers right here. Okay? Now you ask yourself, I have to have a ground right here. Take a 10 ground. You can always reduce it one size. And the ground wire should always be green, or you should always mark it with green tape. So there's, it's identified, and there's no question, because if you get this crossed, it'll trip the breaker. So you can just take your ground wire. Make it the same size. Now, now we have our two hots and we have our ground. Take it. I'm going to slide it through the seal tight flex. Okay. This is what we call a liquid tight, seal tight, weatherproof 90 that goes on the seal tight conduit. The tr they don't want to show you there's a trick. You don't need to take this thing totally apart. You can actually just take this to 
Just kind of work it around the 90 because this is all stranded copper. Okay, now I'm just going to put this on here and I'm just going to twist the 90 itself, okay? And actually, this is an energy saver for you and a time saver. Okay, now I've seated the... Let me show you what I've done here. This part here has been seated. This is what you have to make sure it goes all the way down because if you don't have this yellow connection up against tight against the conduit and against this white component, it will leak, okay? So now... I normally used to take these apart, and then one day I realized, you know what, I don't have to take everything apart, I can do it this way. You can just hand tighten this stuff and you're good. Okay, now, I'm going to grab the other end, and I'm going to take a straight. Same principle. I'm just going to take it. I'm just going to grab it right here. And I'm just going to screw it on. <clears throat> okay. Once again, I'm just going to show you what we've done here. See how we've pushed this yellow grommet all the way up inside of it, and it's seated against the white part. You have to make sure that's seated all the way down. Normally, I don't pull these off to look at them in the field because I know what I've got. After you do a couple, you'll know too. I just want to point out this uh, water seal ring. As you put it up into your disconnect, this here just keeps water from going down inside of this tube. Okay, so folks, this is a six foot electrical whip for my air conditioning unit. That's all there is to it. Make sure you get the right size wire for the right size breaker. If you ever have any questions or if you have any comments, give us a call at jonesairconditioning.com 239 596 5855 or go to our website. I really would appreciate if you guys was to share the videos with your friends, comment on the videos, I will get back with you, and most important, please subscribe to us. We want to help you, and we would like for you to help us. Anything that we can do for you, let us know. Thank you.